Was it doing that before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got clementine, you've got spiced sugar plum. That sounds better than clementine. Do you get the no. uh, always, I, I'm, That's it. I'm oh, nearly yeah. 50, I've always got the Well hello and welcome back to another video. I've just parked, well I tried to get parked at the bottom of Cat Bells but it's impossible because it's so busy. Anyway I'm a little bit further on on the right hand side so I've walked along underneath Cat Bells and I've just spotted this path. Um, it's not on the maps but I, th I think it takes you up there so I think I'm going to go that way. Anyway my plan is today is to go up Cat Bells Bullcrag, High Spy, and then down into Dalehead Town and have a little wild camp there. And possibly a colleague of mine from work shall be meeting me there. He's going to go up from Honister Pass Car Park. Yeah, I think he just wants to get drunk next to a town. So that's what we're going to do. Anyway, this is a kind of slog up to the top of Cat Bells from here because it's straight up. It's not the normal route. So I'm going to get on with it, and I'll get back to you when I get to the top of there. And the weather forecast was right about the wind. <laughs> what we can hear is up there was Cat Bells. Yeah, I'm on my way up to Bullcrag now. Yeah, that's a fair old yomp. Yeah, but I've got plenty of time. Well that was Bull Crag and now I'm on Maiden Moor on my way to I Spy. Going pretty well. Once you get past Cat Bells, it gets a bit quieter. Just Cat Bells is really busy. A lot of people up there doing it. Just up Cat Bells and back down. Obviously staying in Keswick or something. But it's fairly busy. But once you get past there and you come up to Bull Crag, it's nice and quiet. It's just one or two walks. Which is good. 
a little bit less breezy now. Walking along this maiden moor is uh, it's quite pleasant. Once you're up, it's, it's quite flat. And then it's just a last little climb up in the ice by. And then that's all the climbing I'll be doing today. Because it'll be off down into Dillhead Town for a spot of wild coming. Meet my colleague from work and we're going to have a little drink and have some nice food. So this is the lower terrace of Dealhead Town Camping Pitch. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's like a campsite. And then you have the upper terrace, which is probably where there's more shade. Yes, <laughs> finally here, Dealhead Town. And it's a, uh, I'm guessing in the summer this will be a tremendous place to camp. And um, you've got all these like little terraces of bright green grass, nice and flat. Um, just waiting for it to quiet down because I'm fairly early and I don't want to put a tent up yet. I think I might make myself a cup of tea because it is fairly cold and I want to warm up a bit. I found myself a little chair thing to sit on, it's quite nice and I've, the wind's blowing this way. So I've built up the wall here. And it's uh, quite nice and cosy. So the sun was out early and I've had a bit of a chill, almost like closing my eyes and went to sleep. It was uh, heaven, you know, the hot sun on my face but everything else was freezing. I've got two down jackets on, so I'm fairly warm. Before I can have a cup of tea, I'm going to have to go and get some water out of this town. Nice cup of tea. Well, this is another town ticked off. Dealhead town. Lungy town's just up there, and there's a few of the little towns without names. Um, probably see them tomorrow when we go back down. Also, tonight, a colleague of mine from work is going to be joining me. Only problem is, he's finishing. Well, he's not, obviously he's finishing late, but he's not, he's, he's uh, at work today. <laughs> so he's going to be a little bit late. And uh, I think he's bringing some alcohol up as well, so we're going to have a few drinks. Right, it's tent time. Just starting to uh, heal, rain and stuff. So that's where I'm going to put tent. Just in front of this wall.
Well, the hail and snow has stopped. It was just a flurry, I think. And I have my tent up. Helleberg solo once again. Haven't put anything together inside yet. It is really surprising how warmer it is in the tent. Say uh, when the wind's up. About five o'clock, so I think I'm gonna have a little snack and then maybe just another cup of tea. And then I think I might have a little drinky poos, yes. Spiced rum and coke. I'm starting without Jonathan. It shouldn't be long. It's probably going to be dark by the time it gets here. It's a fairly strong one, actually. <laughs> that definitely warm us up. But it's uh, snowing again, or heel. It's quite nice. so peaceful here. I absolutely love it. If anybody's thinking about doing a wild camp, deal head tarn, I would highly recommend it. Especially, I, I think it would be better in the summer, but it's really nice. It's been building the walls up again. I think over time people uh, built the walls up for like a windbreak. So I've done my little bit, built some of the walls up. So anyway, the tent's been up for a while now. I'm gonna show you around. So this is a really nice spot. On one side, you've got some crags, around about five, six meters in height, which provides a shield from the wind. And then I think over time, people have built this wall up uh, it's a bit of a windbreak. I've tried building it back up a little bit. Ooh. But anyway, that's my pitch. I've put it in front of that wall and I've built the wall up a little bit. A little uh, coffee table there, let me drink on. But if there's more people, then we do have the Executive Law Terrace, which is just down here, which is a lovely flat pitch. I'll, get, I'll show you that from another angle. Beautiful. And the view from the terrace is Deal Head Town, which is um, suitable for getting your water from to, as long as you filter it, yeah, it's pretty clear. So it won't be long until it's dark, so I'm going to get the rest of my gear set up. I'm having a little drinkies now. It's absolutely beautiful here. I recommend tarn camping. I'm over the moon with this pitch. I'm going to be doing a lot more tarn camping. It's better than camping on a summit. So much more relaxed, better than hunkering down on the top of a summit in the wind. Brilliant. It's starting to fare up a little bit. My colleague from work is here, finally. I made it. The tent is up and we're half cut already. <laughs> what time is it? 10 past 11. Uh, 10 past 9. Fucking 10 past 9. <laughs> <laughs> the big difference. <laughs> so 10 past 9. A little bit late, five isn't in the hour, nine is in the hour, and it's time for a tipple. And I didn't bring it, John brought it up. And what we've got? So we've got Marks and Spencer's Christmas Range Spice. No expense spared. <laughs> we've either got Spiced Sugar Plum or Clementine Gold Flake inside of the, the little glass bottle. Oh, so it's gold. Or we'll just like uh, show that to the. Yeah, yeah, hello. <laughs> 
they can, you're not going to be able to see it. And then we've got the. It's a nice bottle though, isn't it? Aldi's finest tonic water as well. Aldi's finest tonic water. Yeah. Shot of that. So we've got one of these each. Presentation is excellent, mind. It's going to tax them getting into. I'll go into this one. Right. Do we have to taste this straight? Uh, if you want, I guess. No, we're not. Dr drinking gin straight is a bit unconventional. Yeah. But, uh... not... So which one have I got? I've got clementine, you've got spiced sugar plum. That sounds better than clementine. I don't know what clementine is. Anyway, <laughs> we're just going to pour this straight into the cups. Does it make the noise? Yeah. Oh, Pop! <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Oh wow. Right, so we've basically flavoured gin with gold leaf in. It'll be magnetic tomorrow. And uh, tonic water, so sophisticated. Yes. And where's this from? Marks and Spencers? Marks and Spencers. In fact, me, the actual reality is my grandma gave us it. Alright. <laughs> How long did she have it for? <laughs> oh, this is about two years old, this. Oh, excellent. So, cheers. Oh, cheers. Mine, mine probably smells different to yours. It smells nice. I'm so into my gins now, like... Do you know the best gin I've had? Rhubarb and custard. Oh, yeah. How, how does this work then? Do you give it a rating? A we do, we have to give it a rating. <laughs> And when I do the video, sorry, um, my nose has exploded. When I do the video, it'll go. So I'll give the rating for this one. Which one was this? What was it? Plum, I think. Plum. Plum gin with gold leaf. It, it cuts through your palate. If I was having food, it'd be good. It is nice, but I've had better gins. Mine's you know quite, uh, it seems nice because it's special. So like, we've got to give it a mark for just because it's special. No, I do you know because no, I think no one's brought us gin on a mountain before. Oh well, there you go. There you go. So, so I'm going to give this. It would have been a seven out of ten. Okay. But but because it's special and it tastes better because it's special, it's going to get it eight point one oh. out of ten. Wow. So that's all right. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to enjoy this. Well, what about that? What is it? This is the the clementine gin. What is clementine? It's like an orange in it. Orange. It's like, oh, a, like oh, a satsuma. Oh, yeah. um, I don't believe in seven out of ten. Don't, that's not a thing. No. Nothing. Nothing. You're either. Well, a, see, I've done a nine for for Captain Morgan Space Room. I did nine point seven or nine point six. You do the points. I left. As it, 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 it goes up. You know, like there's more in that range. Nothing ever gets a hundred. I, I would agree. I would agree. Um, pardon me. But there might be something really special that night. You've got to leave that space yeah. at the top. The, the competition gets harder as we go. Uh, uh, this is quite underwhelming, if I'm honest. I would yeah. give this. I'd give this a six point four. Oh, six point four. Would you like to try it? Don't um, try that one. That's probably nice. Isn't it? It smells like rum. Actually, I quite like that. It's not as flavoursome as that one. That's quite nice. You can, you can taste the spice. Yeah, spice. That's Christmassy, nice. actually. This one we just tastes of like Sprite with a hint of alcohol. It's not, not bad. bad. It's not bad. Cheers. But yeah, we'll enjoy this anyway. Cheers. Cheers. Was he doing that before? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking hope so. <laughs> oh, are you, so. Do you swear in your YouTube videos? I, t I try not to swear. Family friendly. Yeah. That's good. If, if I swear, then I'm going to have to put a, a thing on. <laughs> <laughs> you just leave it running, you know. 
and then you just cut it. Aye, do you uh, behind the scenes there? You can see, oh. the, um, you see the gold floating in the bottom of my cup. Oh, yeah. Like a pot noodle, I'll have gold leaf in my pot noodle, but I put some pot noodle in my cup. I was thinking that, but you know, <laughs> I, I won't, uh, I don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want I was at anonymous time and I I put um I used that new filter but for some reason in in the bottle that I put it in it was just like waters all over. Oh. I was drinking it oh. I don't know, I don't know what happened there. Was it clean though? <laughs> well obviously not if I had like bits of grass in and like well, if it's not, if it's not filtering out grass, I wouldn't be. I'd be a bit worried about the microbes. Like <laughs> shit, shit swimming about in there as well. I did feel a little bit like iffy <laughs> after a couple of days after. I thought I had a cold, but it wasn't. I think it was just like microbes. Do you get the shit? No. Uh, I've yeah, always, really? I, I'm, That's it? I'm nearly you? fifty. Yet I've always got the fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always get the shit at fifty. You have like, what was it <laughs> lactose intolerance, gluten intolerance, alcohol intolerance? Do anything nice, you get the shit. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I think Eamon should have came. Yeah, do we miss you, Eamon? You fucking pussy. <laughs> 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 Oh, it would have been classy with him and like. Oh, uh, I should have brought more gin. I've got a little bit of a gin collection going on here. That's some rum. Rum left? Little. I was thinking about that, I was like, should we mix drinks? Ah, that's gonna oh, be yeah. alright. Well, good morning. Can he sleep? May I just having a bit wander around the town. Uh, just warming the legs up and that. Most of my stuff's packed away. Just got the tent to put away. John's still asleep. We had a canny drink last night. So he's probably a little bit rough. As I am. Uh, but it's, it's very chilly, so we won't be able to take the tent down and just sit about. It's a get the tent down, get moving, and get ourselves down to Honister Pass. Practicing leave no trace as normal. My gear is away. John's just finishing off now. And then we're away. So if you've enjoyed this video, subscribe, drop a like and comment if you like. And I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>